Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a soft light box on the cheap. Probably less than $20, $30 you could make 3-4 of these things for your photography or your video, whatever it is you may need. Super cheap, super lightweight, so you can take your lighting from this to this on the cheap. Let me show you how. Let's get started. To get started making one of these light box, you'll need two sheets of dollar store foam board. If you decide to change the size of your light, you'll probably need more than two sheets. It just depends on how you want to make it. I sized it so I could get two pieces out of each sheet of foam board, and you would need two of them per light. You will need aluminum foil, tape, something to write with, Something to cut with, a hot glue gun, some hot glue sticks, a square, a pair of scissors, a straight edge, a can of spray adhesive, and the cheapest you can find white shower curtain. With these lights, the kind of bulb you use makes all the difference in the world. You want a daylight bulb. Now bulbs all have a color temperature. Light has a color temperature and that's measured in Kelvin. So a daylight bulb runs as a 5000 Kelvin bulb. So that's something you really want to look at. That way you can really kind of emulate that natural daylight with lights like these. I am using a 100 watt LED bulb. These can be had for oh, six, seven dollars. They're not too bad to buy. So um, that's what I'm using. I may make a larger light box sometime or another that uses like four bulbs in it, just for a lot larger setup for say like out in, when I'm working on something in the shop. So what kind of bulb you use is all the difference in the world. Now then, to get started, this foam board is 20 inches wide and a little over 30 inches long. So I will take it and mark me a 10 inch center point so I can mark a center line down the entire sheet of foam. Now, from each end, I will measure 12 inches, and I'll do that just a couple of different spots. Now then, on them 12 inch marks, I am going to Mark me out a six inch long line, and then connect the end of that line to the corners. Now with that done, each one of these is going to make a panel for the light. And cut them out. I'll finish up the other two, and then on to the next step. Have all four of your pieces cut out. Hang on to these pieces. We'll need to cut some more out of them. The next thing we're going to do Take our spray adhesive 
and spray one side of each panel. Now that we've got one side of our panel sprayed with the glue, take a good chunk of your foil. Now foil has a dull side and a shiny side. We're going to glue the dull side down to the foam. Now work from the inside out and press the foil down. If you have any wrinkles in it, it's no big deal, it's not the end of the world. And flip it over and trim off the excess foil. Do all four like that, and then we'll be doing the next thing. All four of my panels are covered in foil. Now, for the next step, we're going to take two of our panels, and down each side, on the long side here, we're going to score a line about a quarter of an inch in, just deep enough that we can peel off a thin strip of the foil and the paper. So you don't want to just, you don't want to cut too deep, just kind of eyeball a quarter of an inch and lightly score down it. You may have to do it in a couple of passes, that's alright. You should be able to just hook that paper and peel it off, exposing the bare foam underneath it. Now that we have our little back piece here, all covered in foil and cut out, we're going to fix it to the back of our light. Do that by putting a nice bead of glue all the way around on this edge. So, and stick a piece on the place. There we go. Next, I take my light fixture here. And uh, eyeball it there, kind of in the middle, best I can. Mark around it. And take my knife and cut it out. Put your light. Press it in there, I'm going to pull it out a little bit, put a bead of glue all the way around it. And press it down in. Now with that done, we're ready to put our bulb in it. Next, shower curtain out. Lay it out here. I've already cut a couple pieces out of this one. Lay it out. Lay your light on top of it. A good inch, inch and a half all the way around it or so. And cut it out.
center your line up on your piece of curtain. And I'm going to use some of this painter's tape to hold it in place. You can hold yours in place any way you want. For now, I'm just doing this. The tape can be removable. This side I will pull it tight. Take it in place. Again, pull it tight. Tape it. Do all four sides. And that's pretty much it. Let's plug it in, give it a test, see how it works. And, aha! Nice, soft, even light. Awesome. Now, you can either hang this one up. I'm probably going to end up hanging this one up like so. Or you could mount it to a tripod or a pole or anything like that. Um, I haven't really come up with any really good outstanding ideas for like tripod mounting one. I guess you make a bracket or something that's glued to it that uh, mounts to a tripod. Could do that. I may look into that. But for now... This is good for me. I like it. Hopefully this little project is something you find useful, something you can use. So if you make some of these, let me know how it turns out for you. I'm more than satisfied with how these work. So let me know what you think. Throw a comment down below and um, just, yeah, give me some feedback on it. Thanks for watching and until next time, get out there and just go make it. See you later.